Welcome to, insert really creative name, the channel that puts the nail in the coffin on the hottest news topics of today. This week, we're following up on the story of Jerry the Monk Hutch, who was just recently found not guilty in a high-profile murder case. It all began seven years ago when David Byrne, 33 years old, was shot six times at a crowded boxing weigh-in event at Dublin's Regency Hotel. This stunning event was the first deadly attack in the Hutch Kinahan gangland feud, kickstarting a string of murders. After a lengthy trial in a non-jury court, Jerry the Monk Hutch was declared not guilty of the murder. The judgment was delivered by Ms. Justice Tara Burns, who described the attack as meticulously planned high-velocity assassination and said that the accompanying worry and fear caused mayhem on the streets of Dublin. The prosecution argued that Hutch was one of the shooters, but the court disagreed, pointing out that his age and the speed of the attack didn't seem to fit the profile of the monk. The court managed to come to this decision after hearing key audio evidence, which didn't include an admission by Hutch that he was present. The audio was actually a conversation between Hutch and fellow defendant Jonathan Dowdle, which was surreptitiously recorded by Guardi as the men traveled to Northern Ireland in March 2016. Dowdle was also interviewed by Guardi shortly after Byrne's death in May 2016. The prosecution argued that Dowdle provided incriminating evidence against Hutch, but the court revealed that there were a significant number of lies in his statements, and that there was a real concern over his relationship with the truth. This led the court to approach his testimony with skepticism and extreme care, ultimately deciding that the evidence that he provided was insufficient to prove Hutch's guilt. Two other men have however been found guilty in the case Paul Murphy, 62, of Cherry Avenue, Swords, and Jason Bonney, 52, of Drum Nywood in Port Marnock. They have been found guilty of facilitating the murder of Byrne, and have now been taken into custody to await their sentence hearing on 8 May. In the aftermath of the court's ruling, Jerry Hutch was seen leaving the criminal courts of justice with a large crowd of media around him as he made his getaway in a taxi. So, what do you think of this ruling? Do you think the court made the right decision? Let us know down in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and the bell above so you don't miss any of our latest stories. We'll see you next time on, insert really creative name.